Hey guys, it's your girl Lashes Tony X. Oh, how are you guys doing today? Um, if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Michelle. We would love for you to be part of our family. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button before you go and the notification bell and be notified every time I post a video, which I try to post between three, four, sometimes even five videos. It just depends. And I, sometimes I do lives as well. If you're interested in like streaming, I do do lives sometimes. Um, but since, you know, the big thing is Sephora right now. So I am filming some Sephora videos. So today's video I'm really excited about. I am going to show you what I actually just repurchased um, uh, that I just repurchased just yesterday from the Sephora. Um, I was going to say VIB sale, but I am a Rouge member. You probably hear me say it. I spend most of my money at Sephora. They get all of my money, you guys. Um, and I can't help it. I tell myself every year, you don't need anything you have everything you don't need anything and then of course you know I, i'm i have to so since it is 20 percent, which is not you know 50 percent, it's not that great a video but if you buy a lot i feel like i can kind of like make myself feel better a little bit better by being like well, I saved a hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying? Or I got a hundred dollars worth three. I don't know. Anyway, my husband thinks it's stupid, but <laughs> that's how that's how I make sense of it. But today's video is actually not too crazy. I just want to show you the products that I did repurchase. Um, so I just wanted you to know that I have repurchased these over and over again and I am repurchasing them again this year. So I thought perhaps you might get some ideas or maybe you're like, well, if she's bought them this many times, then she must really, really love them. So let me put this in my cart and pick it up. So I'm just going to show you. Okay, so let's just get started. I'm just blah, 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 blah. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to, or I already did repurchase, was the Benefit, the Professional Super Setter. Um, now, my husband, not my husband, my son got me two of these for, um, I want to say it was, it was some occasion last year. My birthday, Mother's Day, one of those. I think it was Mother's Day. And he got me two of the minis. And so I purchased the large, um, the large size. And I'm actually wearing this today. I really, really love the spray. And I don't know. I just like this one. There's two of them I really, really like. This one is one that I repurchased. Um, again, I'm getting the larger size just because... I already used up the other one and this is all I have left It's probably about this much where my finger is so not much left in it and it just makes your makeup last longer it says it's for pores but I don't really notice I mean you're always gonna see my pores they're there pores are pores you know what I mean so if you have them if you have enlarged pores they're gonna be there so I don't really think this is that great for the pore you know thing that it's saying it's for but I do like that it does make my makeup last um and I just I don't know it blends makes everything blend in very nice so did repurchase this I wanted to uh let you guys know if you're interested it is a nice setting spray um so this is going to be in an upcoming haul hopefully if I get it soon enough um this is a just a runner up, I do want to mention this if you're thinking about a setting spray. Another one that I absolutely love. I thought about repurchasing, but I still have a good bit left. This is the Rare Beauty one. And the reason why I love this one so much, it is so refreshing. So this is the one I like to use before I do my makeup. So I'll spritz my face, like I'll soak it before I do my makeup. And I love this so much i would probably repurchase it but i'm i think i'm good for right now i'm not gonna repurchase it right now but yeah rare beauty um this one is called let me see what it's called 
Where are my glasses? Let me see what it's called. I don't know why I'm not wearing them, but so this is always an op, op, optimist four in one mist. Okay, so this one does have a better mister. This one's more like a spritz, and this is a mist. Um, so I really do like that. This one also has a very like nice, um, very light, light kind of aromatherapy smell but it's very like a hint not much at all um but yeah it says a four in one so i use it mainly to prep but you can also use it um to refresh to set um that's three i forgot what the other one is but anyway it's a four in one maybe to prom but yeah i was just gonna mention that one in case you guys are like looking for a primer but this is the one that i did repurchase in the full size okay the next repurchase i want to show you guys is the charlotte tilbury this is the little baby one now this is my okay i i bought the original full size used the whole entire thing and I had like a dot, like a little tiny bit left, and I dropped it and broke it. But it was just a little bit. I had used 99% of it. Anyway, so then after that, after I had spent $45 and I finished it, I, this is like top drawer, number one powder in my collection. I just think this is an amazing powder. So I repurchased it because I was being cheap. Um, for this little baby mini that is $25 and it's actually lasting me lasting me a while I have zero two which is medium and the first one I picked up was zero one and fair um, I felt like this one that looks more natural with my skin tone um, because most of the time I do a lot of bronzing so I feel like this looks you know, it's not too bright up under the eye and stuff like that. Because that's especially where I like to put it is I like to set my under eyes. And I also basically just set where I need to set. But um, this is what mine looks like. And I've had this for a while, guys. I've had it for a while. So it does last a good bit. I have a little bit of hard pan. Um, because I use, sometimes I'll use my damp um sponge and i'll go into my powder and that does create if you're if you if you did not know that it does create hard pan so um but you can you can um get some tape sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you could you can get some tape and kind of just put it on there and then peel it off and see if some of the hard pan will come off. But also, I've also used like a something like this. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a brow comb and kind of just very lightly scrape off the hard pan. It's not that bad though. It's just right at the very tip. But anyway, I did repurchase this in the um the limited edition packaging i thought it was so stinking cute so i was like i gotta have that so i repurchased it in the limited edition packaging i'm excited it has like this really pretty red packaging um so but even if it you know i would repurchase it in the mini i would repurchase it in the regular packaging limited edition packaging whatever i was just this is just something i had to repurchase because like i said this is a favorite and why not get it why you know you can get 20 percent off so zero two and like i said i just purchased it and the next thing i repurchased was you're gonna think i'm stupid but i just repurchased and i don't have the case for this but long story all right so this is the charlotte tilbury bronzer okay <sighs> how many have i bought okay so the first time i bought it it's too light i bought a refill which i think is okay so i went back and i bought i was like oh they have refills so i just bought the refill in another color instead of buying a whole nother packaging because they're like what 59 dollars so 
I went back and I bought a refill of a darker color. These run very light. Okay, so um, then my daughter-in-law was talking about how she wanted this bronzer. And I was like, you know what? I never use my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Maybe she can make it work. So I gave her the darker one. This is the lightest one, I believe. So it doesn't have a name on it, but this is the lightest one I'm pretty sure that I had. Um, I'll put it on the back of my hand. So it looks like that. Um, so I gave her the darker shade and I gave her the packaging with it and I just kept the refill. Um, and she texted me and she was like, yeah, I don't like the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer because it's too light for me. So I was like, okay. So anyways, to make a long story short, I am repurchasing this with the whole entire case and I am picking it up in tan. So it better work because this is like, if not, I'm done with, with purchasing this. But this is going to be a repurchase for the third time, my third attempt to find the right shade in the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. And I, there's a lot of influencers that I follow on Instagram, um, mainly fashion and beauty. So they're always raving about this bronzer. And I'm like, I have that bronzer and I never use it. Like, I've got to get it in a darker shade, and I will probably be obsessed. So, I did spend $60, well, with 20% off, $60 for a whole new compact with a darker shade. I got the tan, like I said. Fingers crossed that it looks good and it works, or else I am done with this bronzer. I did see Makeup by Mario. They He had some bronzers that looked really nice. I was going to get those. I didn't get those, but I'm thinking about maybe picking up the Patrick Star little bronzer palette or contour palette or something. I'm thinking about picking that up. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments what you think. So, this is definitely a repurchase because I'm rebuying it for a third time, you guys. A third time. Let me know in the comments. Do you like this bronzer? Okay, so that's that. Uh, another repurchase. <laughs> I am repurchasing this perfume. This is like, it just makes, it's just, it's one of those scents that makes me happy. The one that I, that is like my top favorite now, that I get so many compliments on. That one doesn't necessarily make me happy, but the smell of this one makes me happy. I mean, everybody has their scents that they love, right? To me, this is like super girly with a hint of floral. With a hint of musk. And I'm not good at talking about fragrance, so I could be totally wrong in what the notes are. But, I just know I love it. So, I am repurchasing, or I did repurchase this, and this is the Lancome Idol perfume. Again, I got the same size. Um, I had originally had, uh, I wanted the really large one because I was like, well, 20% off, that's like a really good deal. So, I was going to get that one, but I think it sold out or something. I can't remember why I didn't get it, but anyway. So, I, I did get this one same size but I don't know you guys this is just like it just makes me it's like one of those smells that just make me so happy this is straight up girly floral I don't even know how to explain it this is straight up girly so it's it's not fruity it's not fruity at all like it's not sweet it's not fruity but it has like a floral musky smell but it's very, very girly to me. So, I don't know. I just absolutely love this perfume. And like I said, I did repurchase. So, must love. The ones that I'm repurchasing, I've got to love them, right? Another repurchase. This is a hair product. This is one of my favorite hair products, you guys. Um, this is what I really have to say helps my, when I do my curls, 
um, and I do these little like curly loops like this. I, I love my little side curls. It's like my new thing that I do. And heads up, I am I do have a hair tutorial coming up. It was requested um, since I've done my live. Um, they want to know how do you do your hair like that. So what I usually do when you know it's been a couple days is I'll use the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. So this is my favorite for just kind of zhuzhing up my curls. So I will also like to kind of zhuzh up, it just gives your hair texture I guess. And if you like like big volumized kind of sexy hair, this really does it. So. This is like my favorite for just kind of zhuzhing up flat hair, basically. So, highly recommend, definitely repurchase. <laughs> I love this stuff. I don't even know if I have enough for another day. There's, I can't hear anything in here, I'm really sad. So this will be going in the empties, but this again, the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. So, repurchase this bad boy. All right. Two favorite mascaras. One is a primer. One is a mascara. Let's talk about a primer. You guys know what I'm going to say. Okay. I have three Lancome products in here. Okay. So this is my Holy Grail Lancome Primer. I cannot live without this, you guys. So yes, I did repurchase this. This is my favorite primer of life. I have to use it every time I'm wearing it today. Every time I do my mascara. I have to use this. It just makes me feel like I'm wearing false lashes even though I'm not. Um, and I just make, it just makes me feel super girly and feminine. So I love this stuff. Highly recommend it. Definitely, definitely if you've never tried it, pick it up during the Sephora set, uh, spring sale. I believe it's called, I'll put the um, information down below or whatever. So. Um, you have to type in a code so you can get your percentage off, but, um, even if you don't have, like, if you haven't signed up yet, you can still sign up and get 10%, which is better than nothing. So, highly recommend Lancome Lash Primer. We'll always repurchase this. It is the bomb.com. Alright, now let's get a mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras as well. I'm actually wearing it today. What I was saying was I did repurchase the Lancome Auto Mascara. This is a Holy Grail Mascara. I love this. It's like so dark and deep and black. And I feel like it makes my lashes look like I'm wearing false lashes. Um, and yeah, absolute fave high-end mascara. Um, and this is empty, so this is going to go in my empties. And it's going to count as my 20 in 2022 and if you don't know what i'm talking about i will link it down below i am trying to finish 22 makeup items in 2022 and i'm including mascaras and it's not cheating i i think that counts okay give me a break so this will be going and some of these products will be going i'm not going to count i don't count hair products or skincare but makeup i do count so um, this is empty. A lot of this stuff is getting empty. Alright, another repurchase. This, I just got like a mini sample. And I really, really love it. So I purchased this. So this is the Kosas. Let me get my glasses because I cannot see what it says. But it is, I got it in like the Sephora Points, I think, Points Perks or something. This is the Kosas Air Brow. And I have the color medium brown so it's in this cute little tube and then i'm wearing this today actually and this is the little brush um it reminds me of the gimme brow by benefit so i really do like this color i like this tried it out i, I like trying things out and then if you really really enjoying enjoying that if you what? if you really enjoy them then you can buy the full size okay you guys, back 
Patrick Ta has my heart. Now, this is bougie. I feel like Patrick Ta is bougie. A little bougie. Okay, these are almost like $30 lip liners here. But Patrick Ta lip liners to me are so worth it. And they are my absolute favorite lip liners on the planet. They're the only lip liners I would pay this much for because they last. You can go to sleep with these lip liners on. I've done it millions of times. Maybe not a million times, but I've done it before where I went to sleep with lip, with my lipstick and my lip liner on. Woke up, my lipstick was gone, but my lip liner was still there. So, these are awesome. And my two favorite colors. I'm out of this one, which is She's So Bold, so I can't swatch it. Can I swatch it? I don't think. I might can get a little bit to... Yeah, it's like, it hurts to swatch because it's like right down. So it's like, I couldn't wear it. It would like hurt my lips. But that is She's So Bold. And I ordered this online. I'm so excited to get it. Because that's, that's in my, um, um, what am I trying to say? That's in my empties, but also in my um, Project Pan 2022 20, and 2022. 20, That's always so hard for me to damn say. Alright, and this one has been my new fave. This one is called She's So Strong. And this one is a very nice color. This one is a little more... I feel like She's So Bold is a little more pink. And She's So Strong is a little more brown tone. So this one's a little more brown tone, but I have been wearing this a lot since I'm out of this one. But I just repurchased these, and these are my favorite. So there's the shades. Highly recommend these lip liners. If you like this video and you love seeing hauls or you love just hearing people talk about Sephora makeup or any makeup in general, high-end, drugstore, whatever, Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel a lot and I would really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe before you go and let me know in the comments. Are you a Rouge member? If not, when and what are you planning on picking up? Love to know. Hope everybody has a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.